In this video, we'll cover all you need to know before traveling to Rome, like what's the best time to visit, where to stay, information for international travelers, the best places to visit, and more. This video is brought to you by Septix, the number one brand for travel adapters on Amazon, in collaboration with Hungry Passport, one of the best channels for travel tips on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications. Here are the seven essential tips you should know before you visit Rome. Number seven, about the city. Rome is the capital of Italy, and with a population of around 3 million, also its largest city. Although the official founding of Rome is estimated around 753 BC, the area was inhabited long before that. As a result, Rome's city center feels like one big open-air museum and is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Rome was built on seven hills, and the legend says that it was founded by Romulus, who killed his twin brother Remus after the two of them have been raised by a she-wolf. Located within the city of Rome lies the world's smallest independent country, the seat of the Roman Catholic Church, Vatican City. Number 6. Best time to visit Rome has a Mediterranean climate, with mild winters and hot and humid summers. The best time to visit the city is between April and May in the spring and September to November in the fall. When the weather is cooler, it's still pleasant to walk outside and the herds of tourists are gone. Probably the least convenient time to visit Rome is in August, when it can get extremely hot and humid and there are crowds everywhere. Number 5. Where to stay since Rome is a relatively small city, most of the tourist attractions are within walking distance of each other. To stay close to major attractions, we recommend that you stay somewhere between the Tiber River and the Termini train station. Number 4. Getting around the city. While Rome is relatively well covered with public transportation, certain central areas are at least about 10 minute walk away from the first underground station. And since central Rome is not too big, walking will probably be part of your daily routine, so bring some comfortable shoes. While some areas are not covered with the underground, it is still a popular form of transportation in Rome. One-way ticket or 100 minutes on all buses costs 1 euro 50. A 24-hour ticket costs 7 euros, 48-hour ticket is 12 euros 50, and you can get the weekly ticket for 24 euros. You can buy public transportation tickets at metro stations, at vending machines, and counters at some bigger stations. Tickets are also sold at newsstands and some smaller stores. Bus and tram are also part of public transportation. You can use Google Maps or a similar app which includes public transportation in Rome. And of course you can always use a taxi. There are many other forms of transportation in Rome, such as hop-on, hop-off buses, bikes, Vespa rentals and others. Number 3. General information. Here are some things you should know before traveling to Rome to make your experience nice and easy. City passes. You can choose from multiple passes if you plan to visit several attractions. For example, Roma Pass, Rome City Pass, Omnia Cart, Rome Tourist Cart, and some other options. Drinking water. It is perfectly safe to drink tap water in Rome. Additionally, there are a lot of free and safe water fountains spread out across the city. And yes, some drinking fountains even offer free sparkling water. Toilets. There are just a few public toilets in Rome. However, if you are visiting a museum or another attraction, there is usually toilets available there. Rome is also full of bars. You can order an espresso which will usually cost you around 1 euro and use the toilet there. Crowds and lines. Rome is a popular tourist destination year-round, and it can get very crowded, especially around major attractions such as the Colosseum, so be prepared to wait in line or buy a Skip the Line ticket or Rome City Pass if you're willing to pay more. Safety. Rome is generally a safe destination, so you normally shouldn't be worried about specific areas to avoid as long as you're on the streets in the city center. However, typical for all major bigger cities around the world, pay attention to pickpockets, especially in the crowded areas close to major attractions, use common sense and watch your valuables. For emergency services dial 112. Opening hours. Restaurants, bars and shops have different opening hours, and some of them are closed during a lunch break. So always check the opening hours of the attractions, restaurants or shops you plan to visit in advance. Number 2. 
for international travelers. Travel adapters. If you're coming from outside Europe or the UK, you will probably need a special European travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. This is what the Italian power plug looks like. We recommend purchasing a travel adapter before traveling to Rome. In fact, it is worth buying the adapter for the entire world so you can use it in other countries too. Did you know that different adapters charge your phone, laptop and other devices at different speeds? Sometimes charging goes nowhere and when you're traveling, you need your device ready to go fast. Try our newest travel adapter designed to charge your devices more quickly on your trip to Rome. With multiple attachments, it allows you to charge up to four devices at once, which is convenient considering most hotel rooms only have a few outlets. Also, you can just bring the right attachment in a pouch. We also made a video about travel adapters and outlet styles around the world. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to check our easy-to-use website to find adapters that fit your needs. Currency the currency used in Rome is Euro, used in most European countries, including Italy. At the time of making of this video, 1 Euro is worth approximately 1 dollar and 10 cents, or 85 pence. While most hotels, stores and restaurants in Rome accept major credit cards, it is wise to always have some Euros in your wallet. Tipping. Rome offers some great restaurants. We suggest using Yelp or TripAdvisor to find a nearby place with good reviews. Tipping in Rome is not mandatory. However, some restaurants might add a service charge on top of the bill, usually around 10%, and some restaurants might bring you bread with the meal and charge you for that too. Unlike some other places in Italy, the so-called copetto, or in other words the fee for sitting down in a restaurant, is illegal in Rome. Internet. You can purchase a prepaid SIM card or rent a mobile hotspot to access the internet on your phone. Number 1. Best places to visit. Here are the top 5 places you absolutely must see when visiting Rome. Villa Borghese, a large public park featuring a lake and other attractions like Terrazza del Pincio above Piazza del Popolo and Terrazza Viale del Belvedere with an amazing panoramic view of the city. Pantheon, best preserved ancient monument in Rome. Colosseum, the largest amphitheater ever built. Don't miss the Roman Forum which was the center of public life in ancient Rome right next to the Colosseum. Appia Antica Park with the most remarkable historical attractions and over 2000 year old road. And Trevi Fountain, one of the most famous fountains in the world, built in 1751. Check out the video on top 10 things to do in Rome by Hungry Passport, the link is in the description. At Septics, we wish you an unforgettable trip to Rome.